Let's talk about Grimm Season 4, Episode 6, Highway of Tears. It was a really good episode. I thought the beginning of it was actually better than the end of it. You know, the beginning of it, we have Monroe and Rosalie, everyone's at their house, and Juliet says to Nick, you need your powers back, we gotta do it. So they go and call Elizabeth, and then Elizabeth prepares the potion, and Juliet breathes it in three times. There was a funny little line from, from Elizabeth where she said, if you breathe it in more than three times, you're going to become Adeline forever. And they're like, no, we don't want that. So that was cool. So she becomes Adeline, and then Nick and Juliet, uh, Juliet, Adeline, they have sex, and then, you know, Eventually, Nick's powers come back because it does work. Juliet has pains uh, after they do it, but the pains are probably from the effects of the potion turning her back. Then, you know, the next day, we deal with this murder. Now, or this kidnapping, it's not even a murder. And I felt that it was unfortunate that the, this particular crime was in this episode. I felt that this episode could have done well with avoiding the cop scene and focusing on Nick trying to get his powers back, dealing with the people who are attacking their friends, and maybe dealing with the FBI agent and talking to Josh, because Josh's situation is pretty gruesome right now, or pretty grievous, and I want to see more of that. And then we also have like two minutes of Adeline in Vienna, and Claire Coffey is a great actress, so I'm glad that she was able to Vogue or transform into Juliet, or have Juliet transform into Adeline, so we could see a bit more screen time of her. And, you know, when they're in Vienna, or when Adeline's in Vienna, she talks about what happened in Law of Sacrifice, and Kelly says you need to sacrifice things that you love. And that involved the baby. And then Victor clearly figures out where the baby is or who has this baby. And then that was all we see of them. So what will be happening next with them? They're not even in the preview for next week. Uh, what do you guys feel is going to be going on with Adeline? I want her back in Portland, and I want her to find her baby. I, that's really what I want with this. Or I want Kelly to be found by Elizabeth. Now let's talk about Elizabeth. Unfortunately, I think this is Elizabeth's last episode on Grimm for a while because she says to Renard, I have to leave. And it's unfortunate that she has to go. Elizabeth is a really cool per character and a really cool Vessen. And her purpose, it seems, was just to get Nick's powers back. And now that they're six episodes in, his powers are back. And then Renard, and Renard's two scenes were him at his house talking to his mom and then him and his mom are talking about the hat, the witch's hat that Alan used to breathe in to change from the Juliet and vice versa for Juliet. And it's not bothersome to me, but in Once Upon a Time, there's a big thing going on with the sorcerer's hat. And now we have a witch's hat in Grimm. I find it funny that two shows dealing with fairy tales are focusing on magical hats. Now, we don't know what's going to be happening in Grimm with this hat, but I see some significance of it could be coming up soon, which would be cool. And I do not think it'll be anywhere like the Once Upon a Time had it all. That would be really bad if it was. It wouldn't even make sense if it was like that. Wu is easy to talk about because in the beginning, he's there with Nick at the crime scene and with Hank at the crime scene. And then from there, you know, he, he gets some of them for the scrapyard or the junkyard where they're, where they, where they're at, the actual best and are hiding. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't think this episode really needed this murder. And I think it could have been really good if they had a couple of people get, you know, kidnapped or whatnot. I just wasn't that into the murder or the crime going on in the episode. It felt kind of filler to me. And this is the first time in Grimm I've ever felt something was filler. I don't really see that in this show too often. But I think this this crime was needed just to get his powers back. And now that his powers are back, we're good. So now we have a lot more to go off of. I think the next couple episodes are really going to go by fast. And they're going to be really interesting and jam-packed full of stuff. Because now we don't have to rely on Trouble and Nick to be kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. So it was a good episode. Uh... You know, we dealt, we dealt with Josh, we dealt a little bit with the FBI, we dealt with everyone did something, everyone was there. I'm curious to what's going to be happening next. Like I said, I really liked it. The review isn't too, too long because honestly, Nick's power's back and there was that really boring crime. I, I didn't find it interesting at all. One thing I do have to say is I love the writing when it comes down to just having the characters be friendly with each other. They definitely are friends and you can really see it and I think it's really great writing like Bitsy Touche. Uh, I might be saying her name wrong, I'm really sorry. But Bitsy and Brie Turner, just when they're interacting together and then when they throw in trouble into it, like it's so funny. And then Hank and Nick and Monroe all together, like those are really like good little corpse and uh, quip bits that I love seeing. I just felt that unfortunately the, the crime was not needed. But Nick's power's back, so we have more to come next week. But next week's a Christmas episode on Grimm. And we already had that creepy Santa Claus episode in season two. So what else could we get with creepy, creepy elves? Trolls? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the episode. I thought it was a good episode. It wasn't an amazing episode. Nick's powers are back, which does make it good. Crime, I've already talked about it ten times. I'm not going to get into it anymore. 
So let me know what you thought about it, and I'll be back next Friday for another Grim review, and I'll be here on Sunday for a Once Upon a Time and Walking Dead review, so if you guys are fans of those, make sure to tune in for them. Thank you.